Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today's episode, let's learn how to create formulas inside of numbers. So iWork09 includes numbers. Now, numbers is a great spreadsheet program. But if you've never used a spreadsheet program before, you may not be aware of what they can do. Let's take a look at the most basic function in spreadsheet programs, which is to be able to create formulas. So here we are with the basic blank spreadsheet in numbers. You get this by using the blank template when you create a new spreadsheet. Now you've got a bunch of different things here called cells. You can see that I'm navigating around them. I can use my arrow keys or I can click with the mouse on a different cell. And I can click on any cell and start typing and add something to it. So I can add a number for instance. I can go ahead and continue to add different numbers like so. Now formulas are things that operate on more than one cell. So you can basically say for instance add two cells together. If I wanted to add this cell together with this cell 42 plus 56 I can do that by going over here instead of typing a number I start off by typing equals. This immediately changes things and I'm now typing a formula. And you can see by this little box here, this gray box with the X and check mark next to it. Now I can go ahead and select the different cells here. So I've got this one. I can click on it and you can see it instantly puts B4 in there. You can see that this is column B row 4. Now I can go ahead and use a symbol like a plus sign. And I can click on another box. You can see it says B5. And you can see also there's some color coding. 42B4 is in blue and you can see it here in blue. B5 is in orange and here it is in orange. Now if I simply hit return or click on the plus symbol here I will go ahead and activate this formula and it will perform the calculation. So you can see the total is 98. Now the great thing about spreadsheets is that it's always live. So if you change one of these numbers, like say changes 56 to 43, this number instantly changes to reflect the difference. Matter of fact, if I click on it, I can see up here that it's showing me what the formula is. So if I click on say 42, it shows me 42 is in there, 43 is in there. Click here, it shows me that this is a formula of B4 plus B5. Now as you can imagine you can use all sorts of different operations inside of a formula. You can even add regular numbers. So for instance if I want to subtract 2 from this I can put minus and then 2 and hit return and I will basically get the addition of this cell plus this cell minus 2 in there. And I can see there's the number, there's the formula. Now one of the most common things that you want to do in a spreadsheet is add up numbers. So suppose I wanted to add up these three numbers and put the total at the bottom. I can click down here, press equals, click here then the plus sign, then the plus sign again, and there you go. B4 plus B5 plus B6. I return. I get the total of 163. I change one of these numbers and say I make it 232. And you can see that number down here changes and this formula over here changes still as well. Now there's an easier way to do that. Instead of having to do plus plus plus, I mean what if this column was like 100 numbers long? That would create a very long formula. You can use a function. So let's go ahead and erase this formula here and put equals and use the function sum which might be the most commonly used function and put a parenthesis around it. So sum and then I can go ahead and click here but instead of actually clicking and releasing I'm going to drag and create this area. And you can see it puts up there B4 colon B6. In other words the area of B4 to B6. I'm going to release and then I'm going to add a right parenthesis there. Hit return and I get the same sum here. But now I've put that together. So I can go ahead and change any one of these numbers and you can see it's reflected there in the sum. So another great thing that you can do with the sum formula is you can add cells and it will follow suit. So for instance I'm going to go ahead and select 78 right here and I'm going to add another cell below that. So I'm going to go to table. I'm going to insert row below. Now when I click on this formula here you'll see that it's actually highlighting all four cells because it figured that I was adding another cell to this table. So I'm going to go ahead and put number 5 and you can see it updates. I can go ahead and add a couple more here. Um, add row below, add row below and it will follow suit and know what these numbers are. Now you can note that when I select this formula here it actually highlights in blue all of the cells that are involved. It does the same thing for this formula here. It highlights these two. It actually does it color coded. So it's very easy to click on a formula and figure out which cells it involves. So there are a lot of different functions you can use in a formula. So here I've got sum but I can actually change that to another common one is average. 
and it will give me the average there. Now you can also copy and paste functions. So if I created a second column of numbers like so and I decided I wanted the average of this column as well, I can copy this formula here, paste it there, and you can see it gives me a different number. It's actually showing that this is the average of B4 to B9 and this is the average of C4 to C9. It's smart enough to know that I'm copying and pasting from one column to the other that I probably want to change which cells the formula point to. You can also go ahead and have formulas act on other formulas. So for instance if I wanted to do a sum here that was adding together these two columns which are actually themselves the results of formulas, I can do it. So now I get the sum of these two which are the averages of each of their specific columns. So you can keep doing that and adding formulas that rely on other formulas. As you change these numbers you can see everything changes. This number changes which then changes this number. That's a quick primer on how to use formulas in a spreadsheet like numbers. There's a ton of different functions that you can use, all sorts of scientific functions and statistical functions, things like that. The best thing to do to learn how to use a spreadsheet is to start just playing around with it, playing around with some different numbers and also looking at sample spreadsheets like some of the templates that come with numbers. Hope you found this useful. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.